So, Ken Carson's expected to drop his album A Great Chaos July 17th, so just under a month from now. Even though my dumbass fault with that crazy font he uses, it was June 17th, so I ended up staying awake for no reason. But anyways, in terms of the aesthetic he's gone for, he's done something very different to what he normally goes for. And it's fair to say, even at just the start of the rollout, he spurred controversy like crazy. In this video, I wanted to delve into the inspirations behind this aesthetic and the controversy it's caused amongst different music communities. Here are some of the photos that are related to this new Ken aesthetic. This is completely different to the original Teen X aesthetic Ken had with his whole mid-2000s party aesthetic with Teen X and Project X, and he's clearly decided to go in a new direction. And yeah, some people may see this and think, what is bro doing? But I can't lie, I think this is honestly really cool. And he's clearly fleshing out his aesthetic again after X. We saw Lone move towards a horror movie-esque aesthetic, with If Looks Could Kill, and whilst a lot of people had mixed feelings about the album, it's undeniable he set up the hype for it and created an atmosphere which you don't see executed as much nowadays. And it seems Ken's taking the same approach but in a completely different direction. Ken's been pushing this aesthetic over on a private Instagram account which has the same name as the album title, called A Great Chaos. The account only allows fan pages and producers who are working on the album to follow the page, and Ken has been posting all sorts of images to build hype on the account. One thing you can notice in a lot of the images is these like circle things from the Rick Owens gimp hoodie and puffers, which has been a common piece of clothing Ken's been seen rocking, being imposed onto different body parts. He's also posted a screen grab of a scene from one of my favourite movies, Old Boy, with edited clothes, with the Mariana Mordegard Glesgo creepy pastor or some shit i just found that like on the internet the name like so i'm sorry if i butchered it but he's definitely getting a lot of inspiration from the internet aesthetic and the creepy pasta side of things another source of inspiration for this aesthetic is slam metal which is a death metal subgenre. ken's been wearing a lot of slam metal merch for a while now and he definitely messes with the sound so it's no wonder he's taking inspiration from the genre with ken saying his new album and cover are going to be inspired by the subgenre. slam metal covers are usually wild and have insanely gory dystopian visuals so we could expect something like that, but who knows. People are also saying Ken's aesthetic takes inspiration from compressed gore memes from platforms like 4chan, but I can't really confirm this because I've never used the website, but this new aesthetic has definitely caused controversy. The Yabujin fanbase have been saying Ken has just stolen his aesthetic, and I love Yabujin, but this is simply just inspiration, and Yabujin himself has said in DMs before that his aesthetic wasn't even original, and that it was inspired by RCB, and that he just replaced demons with angels. This hasn't stopped the Yabujin community from hating on Ken and pointing out the inspiration he's taken from Yabujin. Duop Kane has also commented on this aesthetic and tweeted about it, saying this is the shit I'll be talking about, keep God in your life, when quote tweeting one of the Great Chaos promo pictures which included fake gore. People were also speculating that Polo G was dissing Ken after he liked a tweet saying that rappers now focus more on aesthetic than making good music, which was referring to Ken's new aesthetic, although he cleared this up and said it's nothing to do with Ken, which was really mature and respectable of him to address it directly and clear up that there was no beef. The rollout for A Great Chaos so far has been really interesting, and has definitely brought a lot of eyes to Ken. I'm really excited for this project, and whilst many people are questioning whether this music will match the aesthetic he's going for, we won't truly know until the project drops, but the snippets sound crazy so it'll definitely be a good project. I appreciate you guys watching, thank you, I hope you have a good day.